hey guys welcome back to my channel it is time to talk about these beauty favorites for 2023 y'all i got some favorites i just want to kind of run through them with you um if you have any favorites please comment down below and let me know because i'm still on the search for you know a few more items but the items i'm going to discuss today they have been my go-to's for 2023 hey if you want to find out stay tuned <music> Okay guys, so we're going to start off with primer. Um, one thing with your beauty products and things like that, routine, I always, you know, wash my face with a good cleanser first and then I moisturize. And pretty much after I moisturize, then I go in with a good primer. Um, a couple of times um, I've used different types of primers. I've even used, you know, two different types of primers at the same time just to kind of give me that prime that I'm prime look that I'm looking for. But we're going to talk about the first one that I've got to rave about for 2023. This is going to be my e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. Y'all, this is a go-to. I don't know if you can see that. But it is definitely a go-to. This is um, supposed to like help decrease the looks of pores because I do have it. I do have texture. Um... And then I like to apply this just a little bit, small dime amount, and just kind of put them in my T-zone just to kind of blur out those pores a little bit. But this is a good primer. It is a drugstore primer. And, you know, I decided I wanted to test it out. I think e.l.f. has another primer out now that is like, looks like liquidy, but it's not in this pink bottle. But I'm going to go check that out as well. But this is the first thing after I moisturize. This is what I use to put on my face before I do anything else. Second thing I use, y'all, is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. This is a staple let me see if I can focus that. It's the milk, um, yeah, the grip primer. I have to have this, y'all, because I have oily skin. And oily skin and heat and stuff like that just don't mix. I live in the South. It gets very hot. It gets very humid here. So I have to have something on my face to make my products stick and last longer. If not, it's just going to sweat and come right on off just because of the texture of my skin. I do like the milk um, primer it is a sticky base and it does help keep the makeup on um, I use a little bit probably just like a pea size full of that and then I just rub it together and I put it back in my t-zones again I get a lot of the makeup wearing off um, right here on the nose and right here in these areas so that's where I like to highlight a lot of my primers especially the milk product um, it is sticky you know and I kind of give it like I put on the milk not the milk, but I'll put on the e.l.f. first and then I'll let that sit for a couple of minutes and then I'll come in with the Hydro Grip, let that sit for a couple of minutes and then I will go to my next step. My next step, which is, let's, let's talk about the foundations that I've been loving for this year. That's matte because I have to have a matte product. I'm so oily, I cannot deal with foundations that just don't have that you know if it's not mad i can't use it so let's talk about a couple of things here the first one i'm gonna have to give a number one to and that is my nars this is the soft matte complete foundation and this is let's see the color i'm in is medium deep too which is tahoe y'all if you have oily skin this is this is good. This is good. At first, I was hung up on Estee Lauder um, Double Wear, which is still good and it's still one of my favorites. But this right here, she it. She is it. That is what I'm wearing today. I have, and pretty much I've had this on probably going on eight or nine hours. It's still holding. It still looks nice. And yes, this is she she number one right now y'all she number one for 2023 for me the next product that i love for 2023 and that is going to be the giorgio armani luminous silk perfect glow flawless foundation 
I had to try this one. It was getting so many great reviews on TikTok and on um, YouTube. It, I mean, you know, I said, let me see what the hype is about. Let me just see what the hype is about. It does come with a um, dispenser here. I know Estee Lauder does not come with one. I had to actually get some dispensers to go on that one. Um, if not, it just pour out on your hand or something like that. But I do like this. I like the way it goes on. It goes on very smooth. It doesn't cake. It doesn't. It's very skin like and it's very beautiful. And that's what I'm gonna say about the NARS as well. It's very skin like as well. So these two have been my favorites for 2023. I will continue to use these, you know, until I'm I use them up in 2024. And but I'm probably gonna repurchase these once they run out because these are the lick. All right, so after we talk about those, let's go on to concealer. I just have one concealer. I just have one that does it for me. I've tried different ones. I've tried the Natasha Denona one. It, it just doesn't give me what I need it to give. So I always come back to my Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. This is full coverage. This is my boo. You know, y'all, I'm not young anymore. I'm not, you know, just around my 20s and 30s. Um, and I do have dark circles. So I was looking for something that looks good that can conceal that. And this is it. It does not take much at all. You just put some right here and right here and just blend. And, and that's it. It doesn't take much at all. The way with my foundations, the NARS and the Luminous Silk, it only takes one pump. It, it just does not take a lot and that's a key if you don't want your makeup to look all um, cakey and just yucky you just don't want that but y'all this is still number one for me i want to try tower 28 and i also want to try the Kosas. i heard very good things about those too so i would be trying those next but right now she 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 number one for me right now this is my number one hitter for 2023 as far as concealers all right, so next let's talk about bronzer. So y'all know I had to put my Charlotte Tilbury back in the game because she, she lit, she lit. The bronzer is beautiful. It is in a powder form. I'm not going to open it up, y'all, because it is broken up a little bit and I don't want to waste it everywhere. But this has been my favorite bronzer of 2023 and probably 2022 as well. I have not tried any other bronzers. Um, I know there are bronzer sticks. There's... um liquid sticks and things like that i'm yeah i'm scared i think that's the thing about it. i'm just scared to try the liquid stuff like the liquid blushes and the liquid i'm just scared i don't know um but i'm a powder girl and i just like the powder <laughs> so but this has been my number one i'm gonna keep using it i always buy a big thing of it because hey it does a trip trick it's not too much and it's not hard to blend so it's it's very beginner friendly and that's a charlotte tilbury bronzer all right, so next, let's talk about another Charlotte Tilbury favorite. Y'all know this had to be in the mix. Y'all had to know this was in the mix because I've talked about her before. This is, let's see, I get this. This is the tan number three press setting powder. And I got it in the little one right now, y'all, because I do have another big one. I usually keep this one in my purse for touch-ups but this is in tan three y'all this is the bomb okay i not only set my face with this but i set my under eye with it and y'all it is so nice i don't know what she puts in this i don't know what's in it but charlotte i want to know and i'm pretty sure everybody else wants to know because this is good this is good and this is always going to be on my repurchase in my cart at sephora it is what it is uh, and I'm, I'm going to buy a lighter one because sometimes I like my under eye to be a little lighter. But I am going to get the next shade lighter to this just to kind of focus on my under eye. But y'all, she it. She is number one as far as my setting powder and my pressed powder for 2023. Okay. Um, let's talk about blush. So I love Too Faced products. I think they have the most... I think it's beginner friendly. I think it's just good to use. Um, and I, I love the way their stuff blends. I just like the way it looks on the skin. And it's just very easy and beginner friendly. So I use a Too Faced um, powder brush. It's Cloud Crush. And this is Candy Clouds. Because sometimes y'all, yeah, I love my pinks. I do love my pinks. And this is not a pink that's just all up in your face. 
it is absolutely beautiful um i actually have it on the day you probably cannot tell but it's very subtle um my skin tone is very pretty it's not just obvious that you have on blush like oh ugh, she got on blush you know i've seen people where they have on blush you tell they got on blush just obviously got on blush oh you got on some blush girl but with this <laughs> it's very minimum you know it just depends on how you put it on and then you know with my skin tone i got a little bit more you know color in that skin tone so it just smooths out very easy and looks very nicely i do have another color of this i don't want to bring it out because it is i don't know what happened y'all I don't know if I dropped it or what but it is all chunked up and stuff so I try to keep it away so I won't waste it because I am going to use it but Too Faced my blush love it all right so let's talk about lip categories I don't do a lot of different things with my lips I do like a nude lip I like a nude lip and I like a nude pink lip because I, yeah, I love pink. I mean, who doesn't like pink? We like pink. Girlies, we like pink. Okay, so the lip liner that I have been loving this year is a Sephora Contour Gel Rouge Gel Lip Liner. And I have this in the color 17 Molasses. Y'all, this is my favorite lip liner. It goes on absolutely smooth. And it doesn't like bleed. You know, you have some lip liners, like when you put it on, it'll start bleeding on the out. This does not. This is a perfect lip liner. And I want to get some different colors in it, but molasses goes with pretty much all the lip combinations that I do. So I just stick with this one, but it is really nice. And it doesn't, it's not so hard to go on either. And that's what I like because some other lip liners, y'all, you'd be sitting up there, you know, thinking you're putting it on. But nothing's coming out. Like, it's like, what is this? The product is not coming out at all. So this is a very good lip liner. And I will be buying or purchasing some more colors in this because I absolutely love it, y'all. And also, you don't have to um, sharpen it. It's like a retractable um, turn where it just goes up like that. And you just go up to how much ever you need. And I, I love it. It's genius. Thanks, Sephora. All right, so let's talk about my lip combination here. With the molasses, I use the NYX Professional Makeup Shine Loud, and this color is in Cash Flow. This is a rouge um, type of lipstick, but what it is, you get the lipstick on that end, and then you put that on, and then you let it dry a little bit, and then you go over it on the other end, with the gloss perfect combination i went into ulta and i was asking a girl i said i want a pink nude lipstick but i don't want something like you know in your face i want something that'll blend in with my skin tone and she took me right to this and this is my second purchase because i used up the last one i had i use it's dry like i use it dry so i had to go get me another one um but it is good now you do have to put something on put that um, gloss on after because it will start I guess settling in and it gets very like sticky and so after it gets to that sticky point then I go over it with my gloss but y'all I love this it stays on all day now I do you know sip out of my straws um my Stanley cup and drink my coffee and all that stuff and I'll still have some on and maybe I have to retouch one time but that's it it is great and I will be purchasing other colors in this and I did get this from Ulta you guys all right so that concludes my beauty favorites of 2023 y'all I, mm, I almost forgot the the winner here um let's talk about setting spray yeah i can't believe i almost forgot charlotte the setting spray but anyway this is charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting spray y'all look at this dent look at the dent okay that's a major dent so i'm gonna have to re-up on this pretty soon i do use this at the end of everything and it just sets beautiful it keeps everything on it keeps everything in place absolutely gorgeous i'm pretty sure if you look at different beauty reviews on youtube the influencers are talking about this i don't have to give you much detail about this it's great and it does what it says it does Okay, so one more thing I almost forgot because it's sitting in my lap, eyeliner. Y'all, I'm an eyeliner girl. I've been an eyeliner girl since 13. 
As a matter of fact, the first thing that I ever put on my face was eyeliner because I wanted to see how it would look. I wanted something to bring my eyes out and to make my eyes pop. And that was eyeliner. So the eyeliner that I love now and have loved for the last couple of years, but especially 2023, is the e.l.f. No Budge Retractable Eyeliner in the color Black Noir. And there it is right there. I don't know why this thing is not focusing, y'all. But it is retractable and it is so easy to use. This is another eyeliner that I like that's drugstore. It does not fade. It does not go everywhere at the end of the day. The eyeliner that I have on now, I've had it on for eight, nine hours. It stays in place. The only time it's going to come off is when you wash it off with some soap and water. So it is good. And I don't know if it's waterproof. I don't know if it claims it is waterproof. But it is a great eyeliner and I would suggest that this is $5 at the drugstore. But I'm going to tell y'all I'm a member of the CVS points or whatever that is. And a lot of times if I get my points, you get the easy pass points and you get something else like 40% off. They just send you these coupons by mail all the time. And I usually stock up on these there because once I use my coupon, I get them for like maybe three dollars or two dollars and fifty cents each with the coupon so i feel like this is a great buy for elf and i love elf products i think they are doing their thing this year and i will continue to purchase these all right y'all that is it of my beauty favorites for 2023 i hope that you have enjoyed this video and if you like this type of videos go ahead and click that like and subscribe button if you have any suggestions on things that you have been loving for 2023 it could be beauty items it could be tech it could be anything that your heart loved this year go ahead and share it down below and let me know so i may want to try it out as well thank you all have a great day and i will see you in the next video bye